Uh, here are some names for you. Nike, Adidas, Coke, McDonald's, Visa. These massive global brands spend upwards of $50 million a year to be associated with FIFA. So when FIFA itself has lost an estimated five hundred and sixty million New Zealand dollars in brand value alone since the corruption scandal broke. What's at risk for its sponsors? To discuss the potential fallout, we're joined by advertising guru and Image Centre Group Executive Director Mike Hutchison. Mike, good morning to you. Good morning. And um, let's talk FIFA first of all, obviously a substantial dent to their image. But is there ever a situation where the product is so good that you can actually, you just have to weather out every storm because at the end of the day, the product's so good, you know you're going to be able to survive. Well, they will survive, of course, but in fact, they would have evaluated uh, how the FIFA sponsorship fits in their whole brand architecture. And so they would have spent, it's not just the amount they're For FIFA to, themselves, I mean, FIFA, must I, they survive because their product is so well, good? No, no. I mean, look at what happened to old man's game cricket uh, when Kerry Packer came along. There, there, might be, there might be a revolution somewhere along the line. But what Sepp Blatter has found, and I don't think people really understand it, he's realised that the, the pale, uh, stale men who ran soccer um, no longer matter. There is the smaller countries, and those smaller countries, um, corruption is the currency. Mm -hmm. And Blatter understood that. That's why he got 173 votes uh, yeah, as opposed yeah, yeah. to 79. Yeah, and that's why it still continues. Yeah, absolutely. Um, FIFA, can it survive? Are you suggesting that FIFA itself could dissolve? Well, uh, somebody could actually uh, have a revolution and start another, like w what the Indians did for cricket. And uh, there are other options that, that people might have. So one, of the, one of the examples you've given, I know, um, in the past has been Tiger Woods. People thought that he was absolutely untouchable yep. and his brand has been all but disintegrated as a result of one scandal. Oh, absolutely. And, and a reputation takes a lifetime to build and five minutes to break. And I think that this has been going on for so long and there's more to come, you can guarantee it. I mean, Blatter's in denial mm -hmm. and... Uh, well, Rally. he himself says there's a lot of bad news still to come. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about the sponsors because this is more important for them. Um, they are paying a huge amount of money annually to be associated with a game through FIFA. Do you think any of those big sponsors will, will fall by the wayside? I think they'll be questioning their, their, their involvement because it's not just the money they spend with FIFA, it's the leverage that they have to give to. You probably spend as much again, if not twice as much, uh, leveraging the sponsorship because there's a whole lot of other stuff in the background. Now, for example, for Visa, there'll be competitions in mm -hmm, all the countries mm -hmm. around the world, you know, um, use Visa. And it's a big call, cool, isn't it? Let's talk Visa for a moment because Visa, of all the main sponsors, are the ones that have come out the most strongly condemning FIFA. Um, their disappointment, they say, with FIFA is profound. So they would be the shape at the moment, certainly publicly, of all the major sponsors. But does do, do people look at Visa and say, you support FIFA? Or do they look at them and say, you support football? Well, yeah, they'd probably support football because they, they wouldn't be giving it to FIFA, they'll be giving it to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole, and there's, a, there's a disparity between the old men who run FIFA and the young men who play the game. And the beautiful game. And so to a certain extent, does this mitigate damage for the sponsors? It does, but it won't last forever. Uh, they'll have to question it and they must be putting FIFA right under the spotlight right now. There'll be a clause in every contract those sponsors have, a drop-dead clause, mm. uh, which, uh, moral turpitude, whatever you call it. And in uh, reality, that could have been activated already. Could well I have mean, been. They, they, could, they could easily say, based on what has happened publicly already, that they're, they're pulling their stakes. Yeah, some of them will be on notice, for sure. Mm -hmm. And, and Blatter will have a certain amount of time to... to how how big a worry, because you deal with companies like this all the time, how big a worry for companies like Adidas, Coca-Cola, Hyundai, McDonald's, that there are other companies queuing up and would dearly love to get the benefits of the sponsorship they've got and they will fill the gap if they if they call it quits. Yeah, well, they probably will because, as I say, that there are a lot of countries where, where, who, who got in behind Blatter where um, corruption is the currency. I was being in, a, in a, uh, a presentation in New York a few years ago and there were CEOs from different agencies around the world and there was a, a member, um, Mr. Swami from Mumbai, was there. And we were in a presentation skills um, seminar with some guys from Harvard and this Harvard business school guy was talking about presentation skills. Mr. Swami spent most of the time looking out the window and the Harvard guy said, look, Mr. Swami, are you not interested in this? You know, How do you uh, expect to get new business if um, you don't you know, polish your presentation skills? His answer was, I don't know why you Westerners are worried about presentation skills. Every time I want a new business, I ring the chap up and send him a check. <laughs> That's how they that do is business. how a lot of the world does yep. business. Yep. All right, if you were advising these companies, um, Visa, Nike, Coca-Cola, so on, would you say hold in for a little while and see what happens, or is it time for them to move? No, I'd say hold in for a little while and see what happens. And actually, that would be a good lesson to uh, organisations like FIFA that you've actually got to you know, to listen to your public.
Mike, thank you very much for joining us. Mike Hutchison, uh, Image Centre Group Executive Director.